and we continue with our adventures in statistics in Excel. Um, if we look at the assignment here, we're supposed to do 9-1 number 32. I'm going to do number 31. Um, on a side note, um, I created an Excel spreadsheet. Um, oops, you might not be able to see it. Let me move my video thing over. Um, that I have all the problem numbers already in, and I've already saved it with my name in it. Of course, you would save it with your name. Um, that's File, Save As, Choose an Excel Workbook. Be careful, you want to be saving um, a spreadsheet from your own files. If you have trouble saving, that means you're probably trying to overwrite one of the downloaded files from the web. Don't do that, right? Make sure you have a fresh new worksheet for you. All right, let's go here. Let's see. We need to find, let's see, the Construct a 90% confidence interval for the mean blood alcohol level. The mean was right up here, sample mean, that means X bar. Sample mean was 0.16. Um, it tells us the population standard deviation is 0.08. And we know we want a 90% confidence. All right, so let's start typing some of this information into here, into our lovely spreadsheet. So let's think. We know what X bar is. X bar was 0 0.16. We know what sigma was. It was 0 0.08. We know what n was. Oops, it was one two zero zero. I just noticed I spelled sigma wrong. I type fast. Um, we want to know our confidence level. Our confidence level is zero point nine zero, right? Ninety percent. Okay. Now, there are a lot of ways we can do this problem. I mean, like a lot. Um, so what I've decided to do for these tutorials and for the, the manual itself was to kind of stick with the formula because then I thought you could break it apart for things you need. So the formula is right here. It's x bar plus or minus z alpha over 2 sigma over the square root of n. Well, we know x bar, we know sigma, we know n. The only thing we need to figure out is the z alpha over 2 thing. That's called the critical value. How do you figure that? Well, let's figure it. z alpha over 2. Now, z alpha over 2 is the z score that cuts off the middle 90%. So let me think about this. This guy right here, 0.90, makes up the middle. If that's the case, then how much is in each tail? Okay, well, here, let me do it this way. How much is in alpha? Alpha is the complement, so it's 1 minus your confidence level. In other words, it's the area that's in the two tails put together. 90% is the center, the symmetrical center. 0.10 is the tail tails, excuse me. So then how much is in the, each of the individual tails? That's what alpha over 2 is. That's this guy divided by 2. All right, so what's z alpha over 2? Well, z comes from the normal curve, right? The standard normal curve. That's why um, it's also come, sometimes called the z curve. So we need norm s inverse, right? norm s inverse, and then what we want to tell it is the probability that we're interested in. Um, you could tell it a couple things, but what will be easiest if you do this, the 0.05, press enter. There we go. Um, technically, this is the low one. Um, the high one would be the opposite of this. Um, you can do this a couple ways. You could also do 1 minus b7 in here to make it the high one, the positive one, or you could do the absolute value, or you could just turn it positive, or you could leave it negative, and honestly it won't make much difference. Um, so I'm going to do it this way. If alpha over 2 is 0.05, then what I want is the normous inverse of 1 minus that, because, here let me put it this way, if alpha over 2 is 0.05, this is the left tail, let me make that clear. So then what's to the left of the right z-score. That would be 1 minus that, okay? So this is the left tail, or excuse me, let me put it this way, left of the left z-score. And this is to the left of the right z-score. All right, so then, well, we need our two limits, so let's get the lower limit. That's equal to, according to the formula, x-bar minus z, which we just figured that, 1.645, times sigma, which is this one, divided by the square root, square root of n, enter. Oops, yes, that's fine. And then do it again. Okay, let me drag, I'm going to drag the form, oh no, I better not. Equals x bar plus z times sigma divided by square root of n. There we go. There's the upper limit. We have found both parts. Awesome.